And now we take a look at some other stories from around Taiwan. The head of the Straits Exchange Foundation, Lin Zhong Sun, headed today to Shanghai, where he will sign a deal with China to liberalize trade and services. Taiwan will open 55 types of services and five financial services to Chinese investors, while China will give Taiwanese greater access to 80 types of services. The DPP is warning that the deal could hurt employment in Taiwan because 4.7 million Taiwanese are employed in the sectors to be liberalized, such as beauty parlors, car repair shops, and restaurants. More people in southern Taiwan are coming down with the enterovirus now than in recent years. 300 classes in Kaohsiung have been canceled so far in enterovirus fears, about 10% more than last year. If there is a bright side, it's that most cases this year are Coxsackie A6 infections, a less lethal form of the enterovirus. The National Taiwan Craft Research and Development Institute is taking steps to preserve the country's traditional arts and crafts. It's invited 12 masters to record handicraft classes on digital files so they can be passed down to future generations. The masters will also attend 50 DIY activities from now until October to give more students exposure to Taiwan's traditional crafts.